Kara and I are back, and in today's video, we're going to talk about three zoologist fragrances. Those three fragrances are Dragonfly, Panda 2017, and Civet. You're also going to have a chance at winning one of three sample sets, so please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian and Kara. If this is the first time you've visited my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button with the bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways so that you don't miss out. And Kara and I are gonna go ahead and speak to you today all about these three zoologist fragrances. We're gonna go ahead and start out with Dragonfly. This was a 2017 launch, do we know? I think so. Yep. 2017 launch. So for notes, we've got at the top aldehydes, lemon, heliotrope, peony, and rain. For heart notes, we've got clover, iris, lotus, rice, and cherry blossom. And for base notes, we've got amber, oak moss, sandalwood, uh, musk, and papyrus. So this kind of sounds like a fragrance I would like. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and smell. Okay. Now dragonfly is a Beautiful insect. Mm -hmm. I always get excited when I see dragonflies. You do? Mm -hmm. They're so, just, they're special. They are special, huh? Mm -hmm. So this is a Juan Perez, uh, the nose behind this one. And I don't know much about his fragrances. And I do remember some time ago, I had read that he did um, fragrances or he was selling fragrances on Etsy. So I want to do a little more research on, on his fragrances. But so far, what I'm smelling here is really nice. It's very aldehydic to me. Mm -hmm. And the rain, you know, it's just really prominent. Very rain, yeah, w watery kind mm -hmm. of. Aquatic. Um, the rice papery smell is really interesting. Like, yeah, rice notes. It is so interesting. Slightly, pa it goes well with the aldehydes. So it's slightly powdery. It is slightly powdery, yeah. <laughs> um, but not overly. So. Not not overly, because I think nice. the powder, the watery mm -hmm. quality is balancing out, the, like making it not too powdery. But mm -hmm. there is powdery in there. And a lot of floral. So this is very green to me also. What's causing it to be very green like that, I wonder? Because the notes don't seem green to me. Um, hmm. Maybe well, it's the aldehydes. Maybe. Oh, yeah, aldehyde fragrances are a little on the green, green side, yeah. Yeah, this is really lovely. Mm -hmm. Very, very pleasant. Very easy to wear, not, not too edgy. Not, I don't find it edgy at all. I've been wearing this, there's been a heat wave a little bit, no, not lately, but oh, we did have a couple a couple <laughs> weeks ago, and I was wearing it then, and it was really nice for the really? extremely warm weather. Okay. Yeah, it's very fresh, yeah, refreshing too. Mm -hmm. Now, um, is the frag the fragrance is inspired by the environment of the dragonfly? Is that what's going on? I think so. I guess. So, where do the rain notes come from? I wonder. Uh, they reproduce in underwater. Oh, okay. And actually, their babies are brutal. Before, like a uh, like a larva becomes a dragonfly, it becomes this crazy hunting like underwater insect. Mm. Um, Interesting. What is it? What are they called? I really like this one. <clears throat> Me too. Yeah, like what the nymph, like a dragonfly nymph. Is Nymphomaniac. <laughs> it's terrifying. It lives underwater and like wow. terrifies. And it's big. Baby. Can you show? Fly. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> nope. But you know, that's just one it's like when it's a teenager. I also like the dragonfly artwork. Terrible for the, teens. For the bottle. Yeah. It's like he's a dandy with his like French cape <laughs> or jacket. <laughs> Pretty. Yeah. All right, what's this next? This is great. Okay, let's do panda. Panda. Since we're going from green to okay, green. Okay, panda. From green to fruity. So panda is a twenty. It's the 2017 edition. The nose behind this uh, fragrance is Christian Carbonell. For notes, we've got apple, magnolia, mm -hmm. um, mandarin orange, lily. Aldehydes. Um, no, I don't think that's aldehydes, is it? Musk. Um, that's what it is. No, this one is uh, oh, just in the top. Osmanthus, uh, and then we've got here. 
ozonic notes. Mm. Interesting. And T, and then in the heart notes, we've, we've got amber, earthy notes, jasmine, orris, and patchouli. In the base, you've got civet, musk, sandalwood, and vanilla. Very unique notes. Mm -hmm. I'm curious about the apple note because I don't think there was apple note in the previous edition. I don't think so. Yeah, there wasn't. Um, it was much more green. So there's a fruity, fruity vibe with this one? Yeah, I really like it. I'm glad they redid this, honestly. The other one was nice, but it was so sharp and like kind of painfully sharply green. Hmm. The bamboo note was like slapping you in the face. This is quite earthy to me. Really? Mm -hmm. It has a very um, like what? soily kind of like I can smell the soil. Maybe that. Uh, maybe I like. When I was it. young, my my dad my dad always planted vegetables and fruits, and I'd help him, you know, dig the. I could smell the earth here. It's very earthy. And the apple is hardly coming through. It's oh, I there, agree. but it's very, very earthy to me. It's more earthy than it apple. Is, it is. I mean, it, see, I tested, I tested Panda and on me, mm -hmm. it's, it's fruitier. On the strip, it's, um, it's earthier. It's yeah. Earthier. Cause it's not earthy on me at all. No, mm -mm. no. Yeah. On, on the strip, it's very, very earthy, but it's slightly musky on me. It's musky. Mm -hmm. You like but that? That's, yeah, I like that a lot. Now, do you it's like panda? Rounding. I love panda. But you, what's your favorite from Zoologist? Are you trying to get me to say bat? <laughs> <laughs> bat is very unique. I love the the sexy dirt. Mm -hmm. It's good. This is a this is a contender. Yeah. For the sexy dirt because see the bat. I mean, not pan, bat, but panda sprayed on me is so different compared to sp on the yeah on the strip on the skin. It's really um. Different. See, fruity notes are coming through. Osmanthus is really mm -hmm. big on it here. More than even the apple. And patchouli is also pretty king here. I'm, I'm less like, earthy notes, more earthy notes on the strip, less earthy notes. Even I'm less all apple. apple all day. Really? Yeah. Apple girl, green apple. <laughs> Very crispy. Wow. Mm -hmm. But lovely. You know, but also green and sort of like fresh and nice and Sharp without being painful. Wow, Osmanthus is so big on here. Yeah. It has a very That's apricot so interesting. vibe. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Oh, it's a good one though. Really good. Yeah. Like so shall we try a civet? Civet. The ever so popular civet. <laughs> I, I, I can't remember if I've told this story on here before, but one time I was in LA and I saw this girl who had one of my favorite tattoos I've ever seen. It was, um, you know, the Slayer font, like mm -hmm. the band Slayer. Well, she had one that said Civet. But there was, there <laughs> it was, was in that font. There was a band <laughs> called Civet. Oh, that's right. There I was, did say this on here before and you told me that and I was like, There what? was a band called Civet, yes. Because I thought that she just had it and I was like, maybe she was in that band. Maybe. <laughs> that's what I a think. A heavy metal punky she, girl band, I think yeah, it was, right? She, I mean, she was at a perfume event. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, Civet. Okay, so let's try civet. Let me spray, spray some civet. So the times I've smelled civet, it didn't come off very civet-like to me. And again, this one is gonna be really different on, on the paper versus the skin. Very, on, on the skin, it's so resiny on me. It's just like, it's so resiny and a little bit, uh, and fairly animalic. On wow. the paper, it's like, so what are the notes? What we've got here is tuberose, resins, civet, oak moss, carnation, coffee, ilong ilong, frangipani, leather, mm. incense, pink pepper or just pepper, black pepper, um, lime blossom, woody notes, heliotrope, grass, vanilla, Canadian <laughs> balsam, and then we've got hyacinth, black pepper, so we did have... Yeah, you can get the black pepper. Spicy sure. notes, uh, mandarin orange, musk, uh, labdanum, mm. bergamot, lemon, and uh, sandalwood. No vetiver. Vetiver. Wow, that's a lot. Got a lot going, going on. <clears throat> now this is created by Shelley Waddington, uh, who I know personally. Mm -hmm. I've met here in um, San Francisco. She now lives in uh, Portland, Oregon. I but love the fact that there's a coffee note in here. You know that. Does that, that come co through? Let a little me, bit. Let yeah, me wear a, a civet on yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, wear it. 
Um, but it's funny because, you know, there's that really expensive coffee that, like, the civet has to poop out. No wonder that they have <laughs> co coffee in here. Yes, it's... That's a, cute, that's a nice touch. I like that. And I think Shelly does coffee fragrances very well. She's known for that kind of stuff, so... I'm actually feeling like I could get a lot of coffee right now. Is it the coffee that's pooped out of the civet? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> now, could you imagine Maybe. drinking that coffee? I've heard people drink it, and it's supposedly really good, but... Sounds really good. I would try it. You would try it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> although I think a civet is a, an omnivore, right? So wouldn't there be like... I don't think they eat... Blood proteins? And... Ooh. No, thank you. Maybe I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> no, this smells good on me. It's great. I like it. It's like a, a very polite, friendly animal butt. It's elegant. Clean yeah. animal butt. <laughs> clean, <laughs> clean animal. Well, you know how it's like skanky, but like elegant and clean. But the, but it does have the skank. Elegant animals can be skanky too. This is true. Secret skank. So out of the three, what <laughs> do you like? Elegant in the streets, a skank in the sheets. <laughs> <laughs> out of the three, which do you like best? Oh, I don't know. They're all good. They're all good, huh? They're really different. They're all very different, mm -hmm. yeah. I think Dragonfly is my favorite yeah. out of these three. For, I think maybe, I don't know, it's between Panda and Civet. So what would you be your dream animal from Zoologist <laughs> Perfumes? Oh no, this is a mole. Mole. Just, I mean, they've already got like a, I mean, that's my favorite animal. But the, a golden mole, you know, a desert mole, they're huh. called sand swimmers. They're like so cute and you could do like a whole desert, you know, spicy, wow. warm, dry theme. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't really have when, yeah, too saying. many favorite animals. I guess the one I was thinking they would do is a koala bear. That would be cool. Because it would be eucalyptus <clears throat> mm -hmm. dominant, I guess. Yeah, it'd be like super fresh and herbal. Herbal, yeah. Anyway, I see, I, I, uh, there's a lot of eucalyptus trees here in San Francisco and walking true. around them in the fog here mm -hmm. smells awesome. So I would picture it similarly, but I don't know how, I don't know if the environment would be similar in Australia where the koala comes from. It wouldn't get foggy and cool like that, you know, drippy, cold San Francisco days. Yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway, that's what I visualize. But anyway, that would be my dream animal. I think animal. we should import some koalas for Golden Gate Park. We should. <laughs> Maybe at the zoo. Maybe at the zoo. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, guys, uh, thanks so much for watching this video on these three um, zoologist fragrances. Um, Dragonfly, um, Panda 2017, and Civet. Um, to participate in the giveaway for a sample set, three sample sets total world, worldwide giveaway, please put down what your dream zoologist perfumes fragrance would be. It's great. And also please put down your country so that we know where you're uh, commenting from. And we'll run the randomizer and select the first three names as the winners of the sample sets. Also, guys, please let me know, have you tried these fragrances? Are you curious to try them? Are you familiar with Zoologist perfumes in general? Please put that down so we can get a conversation started. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.